Hey guys, Dylan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Backup PC on a Debian uh, container. It can also be on a, a virtual machine or a physical server. I usually recommend doing it on a virtual machine or a container. Uh, generally having uh, your infrastructure virtualized is for the best. All you got to do is apt update minus y. We're going to update our lists. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do apt install backup PC. So now uh, the installation is going to prompt us. Now backup PC uh, supports uh, Apache 2, so we're going to do OK. And then you're going to want to save this password. Uh, so you're gonna, let's go ahead and copy it into a notepad because this is just for a tutorial, so I'm not going to save this. Um, and we are going to want to have this URL uh, right here. Um, so write it down if you have a URL or an IP address. Uh, any of those will work. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Um, and if you want to change the password, you can just do HT password and the uh, user, as it said right up here. Uh, you go ahead and do HT password, etc. Backup PC HT password backup PC and that should allow you to reset the password to a different one. So we're gonna open this link and at first if you have a um, on your on your setup if you have a URL set up because of the host name or whatever uh, what you can go ahead and do is you can go to your um, nano var lib backup PC and you can go ahead and go to your um, uh, I think it was actually I think it was in the see, Apache 2 sites enabled. So you can go here to your oops, was it conf enabled? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so you have to go to your conf enabled backup PC. And here uh you're gonna check that uh there's a line called require local. So uh it says comment out this line once you have set up HTTPS and uncommented uh, SSL require SSL. But in this case, for the uh, purpose of this, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it with HTTP on plain text. Now, if you have to access this from an external IP or source, then don't use it without any encryption at all. Uh, but if you have it on your LAN, then in some cases, you can uh, go ahead and not use it. So what we're going to do once we've changed that is systemctl restart uh, Apache 2 and we're going to hit F5 here and it's going to ask us for the username which is the default backup PC and we're going to go here and do copy paste of our password and that is going to get us into the backup PC interface. Now the backup PC interface is super straightforward. You got your status, your host summary, your host list, here you can change your config etc. Now uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to add a host so to do that you go to edit hosts and then you, just, you, then you could just do add and for example put a host and any IP address that you would like to add but after doing that you're going to have to if it's a Ubuntu or generally any Linux um, uh, machine uh, you're going to have to create a SSH key and you're going to have to copy that SSH key to that client um, so that you can copy with rsync. You're also going to have to add the rsync command to your etc sudoers uh, and do a couple of different things which I will be covering in a separate video as this is just an installation video. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a relatively short video. Have a nice day.